which means uh, one who tells stories. Um, I'm from Nipissing, I'm of the Crane clan. Uh, being from Nipissing, I'm also a Nishnabek. Um, and uh, I'm a Shkabewis, a traditional helper. Uh, presently, I, I work at uh, Nijan Sananik, Child and Family Services, as the manager of uh, cultural services there. Yeah, learning, uh, learning about being a Nishnabe um, is, a, is a long process and uh, as I got a little older um, I began to realize uh, there was a part of me that I didn't really know part of our community part of our history and as I began to explore you know spirituality at a young age uh, not in depth but certainly you know began to look at things I uh, for a while I thought well, okay this is the way we've always been you know church was always here and then as I, in school, when you learn history and you begin to learn, oh, okay, that, that's not how it was. Uh, we were here basically on our own before, you know, um, before uh, our, our light-skinned relatives came to live with us. Um, and then I wondered what that was like and what did we just wander around the bush and, you know, <laughs> what was it like? And I knew there was more to it. Um, and my auntie and uncle giving me that name of uh, Anzoked, one who tells stories, told me that part of my work was going to be learning stories and then sharing them. And so I've done, I focused on that as well, trying to learn about the different stories of different teachings and then passing them on uh, in a good way. So uh, it has been an important part of my life. And you never told everything because part of uh, your journey is to find that out yourself, including the medicine that, that you learn about. Whenever I look for medicine, I'm never told the whole thing. I have to figure some of it out um, because what would be the point of just giving it all? You know, you have to, part of your learning is to learn it on your own. I'll give you a little bit. I'll just point you in the right direction uh, and then you take it from there. The same with the name. You know, you're given the name. Now you have to take that name. I'll give you a little bit of what, of how it came, and you're going to have to figure out where it's going to go from here. And I'm like, oh, I get it. We have a collective knowledge base. That's that makes sense. If one leaves, then only that part is missing, and you can always fill that part through the knowledge that everyone. It's like water. The knowledge is like water that flows through us. And I realized that's, that's how we, we keep our knowledge. That's how we pass it on. It's like water. It just flows through us, each of us, through our experience. But we have to bathe. We have to get into that water too, to learn about it. Everyone understood, understood a little bit. And together, we would come together and bring our knowledge together when needed. We did everything in a collective way. Uh, and as I, as I saw that, as I got older, I realized the importance of that, of that diversity and uh, that ability to uh, work together. You know, it, it wasn't in a formal kind of a thing. It's just, you knew, so-and-so did this and did that and had those, uh, and someone else did, and you had this and you would share that. And a lot of it is, uh, is done quietly. <laughs> I remember learning how to set nets with my dad. Um, first he would bring me out uh, and he would set the net and do all the work and not talk much just I would watch him as I got a little older going out then he'd get me to you know to keep the boat straight and start giving me jobs and next thing you know he's okay I'm gonna drive the boat you set the net and then after a while it's Perry go out and take the boat and set the net <laughs> clean the fish fix the nets you know you you know Part of it is him getting out of wood and work. <laughs> but the more important part is that I'm learning how to do that, to, to, you know, teaching me how to fish, you know, that old saying, well, teach a man to fish. <laughs> um, and so, but a lot of it was done without a lot of verbal. You paid attention. You pay attention and you learn. And then you, you, you do it, you make your mistakes and, uh, and you correct them and then you move on. Um, and today, Education is, is the same, I think, in essence, it's the same. 
Um, it's just different vehicles to carry that knowledge. It still comes down to that uh, experiential. That's a really important part of it.